So did you read about how many possible steps there are here? Huh. Me either. Looks like a good amount though. excited about today? It's gonna be a big day. It's one of the major things to see while you're here in Mexico City. Yeah. Look at that little doggy. Hey guy. Francisco. Francisco. Yes. Ronnie. Okay, I'm here. Yes, I am. <laughs> So first stop today, the Basilica de Guadalupe. Some pretty beautiful grounds here. So we're gonna go to the top and take a look around and and then uh, see way out over there, the grounds. See how many people are here? So many people. People have been visiting this site since the 1500s continuously. Really? Yeah, for hundreds of years people have been coming here. It's called a pilgrimage site. To pilgrimage is to go and travel to see a religious site. That's pretty cool, huh? So I guess that's, you know, 500 years basically people have just been traveling here. If you're Catholic, this is a really big deal to come here. And he gave you a shiny one. See how shiny that is? He's been polishing. He popped you the brasso. Nice, huh? That's shiny. What do you got there? Let's see. Nice. Get it, B-Man. Nice. You got the same one as Aiden? Yeah. Shiny. Those are cool. He brassed them. Yeah. You look around you, there's mountains all around. Yeah, I never really realized that. I guess... Uh, it's like a ring of mountains around Mexico City. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So Juan Diego was here in the 1500s. Yes. And he saw... The Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary. Yeah. Juan Diego's cape yeah. with the image of Virgin Mary on it. Emblazoned into it. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Alright, so there's a sign right there. No talking, no taking pictures, uh, and no distractions, I guess. Anyway, so we're gonna go in there, but I'm gonna turn this camera off. Very beautiful inside there. I'm pretty sure this particular building is on the site where Juan Diego uh, lived for a while. I don't quite know all the ins and outs, but it's a very beautiful building and there's some very beautiful things inside. Couldn't bring the camera. It says no taking pictures, although there were people taking pictures in there, but uh, I'm not about to do that. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. Everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year.
Is there any no camera signs here? I don't see any no camera signs, but I feel a little bit weird taking pictures in here. What do you think? I just wouldn't risk it. You wouldn't risk it? Yeah, so I'm not going to. Unless I see a bunch of other people taking pictures, I'm not going to. Very beautiful in there. There were a couple other people taking pictures. There were no signs, but. So we just left the ancient basilica. Yes. And this is the new basilica built in the 70s, 1970s. Yes. Okay, yes. and we think that's where the canvas is. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And just in case I'm not bringing my camera in there. Okay, there were a lot of people in there. Couldn't really get a good view of anything because there's so many people in there. Uh, but it's a very beautiful building, I'll tell you that much. Okay, we're here. We just arrived to Tiwakan. And first up is lunch. So we heard that there is a restaurant, a cave restaurant. A lot of comments about that. So we're definitely going there to eat. Okay, so I think this is the cave restaurant right here. La Gruta? That might be the name. There's a sign right here that says La Gruta. But here is the first part of the cave. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Look at that, B-Man. That is so cool. But like a small part of our dinner, the whole lot. Restaurant in a cave. And a great viewpoint, too. Uh, I like this place already. <laughs> you like this restaurant already? Oh, yeah. What a fantastic idea, huh? We're just waiting on our driver, Francisco. He uh, was kind enough to join us for lunch. We have five? Cinco personas? Yeah. El restaurant no bathroom? No bathroom no in the restaurant, restaurant, bathroom over there. Okay. Next to okay. the store souvenir. Okay, excellent. And uh, una penifia. Two horchata? Uh, cuatro. Ah, cuatro? Okay. Wow. Look at these menus. Jeez. Those are some tough menus. Wood. <laughs> wow. And the, do you like? Excuse me. Oh. Should we try this? Mm -hmm. Oh, grasshoppers cooked oh, with lime. No. Okay. no. I think we'll. I think we'll skip. I think we'll skip that. That sounds good. The what? The ribeye with roasted vegetables on the side, sliced corn. Oh, so you're gonna go with the steak. Also, the most expensive meal. Interesting, Mouse. Oh, really? Mexican I think okay, I'm going with that. The Mexican yeah. platter. It okay. looks so delicious. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you like the, the guacamole? I love the guacamole. It's a it's a good. Oh, starter. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Porcajete la gruta. Okay, good. Oh, with pork rinds. Hey guys. Yes. Gracias. Gracias. Oh, the chips with uh, yeah, some salsas. Yeah. Looks delicious. Wow. That's strong. What do you like? Do you like it better than the uh, one at uh, Casa de Tonia? Yeah, one at Casa de Tonia is a little bit creamier. It was. This is a little bit waterier. Yeah. But I like the spicy. But yeah. the spice is good. Yes. Yeah, I'm leaning to 
pour it in one of the soups? Cactus, chilies, tomatillo. At first I thought he said cactus. The cactus is, is really, really, really good. The chilies is even better. Really? Yeah. And let's try the tomatillo. It's good. Oh, you already tried it? Uh-huh. Is it better than the chilies? Like, I wouldn't say room yes. for my ribeye, but you guys are torturing but, me. I don't know. You might like wow. the chili more because it's uh, smoky. So I like the chilies more, but the chili, the um, tom the tomatillo is got this tang to it. Yeah. Wait, so what does cactus fruit taste like? Whatever that tastes like. Yeah. Taste that and then you'll know. I've had cactus fruit before. When I went to my grandma's. Mm, yeah. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, as always, I like the verde the best. Yeah. The chilies are so smoky. Mm hmm Okay, so what are you having? The chichina. Chichina? Cecina. 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 Okay. Repite, será un queso fundido, una cecina, platón mexicano, mi guay al punto y una escuela de tortilla. Okay. Oh, uh, guacamole. Y el bocajete. It's guacamole. Uh -huh. Guacamole? De chicharrón, queso y cebollas. Ah, so it has the... Um, uh, chicharrones, the guacamole, and the cheese, the queso. A chip. Look at this oh, big okay. old mine here. Mm. Good chicharron? Very good chicharron. Let me slice this, slice up this onion for you. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Why are they taking candles up there? Why did they take the candles? De costumbre, de tradición, de restaurant. Oh, the tradition of the restaurant. So the customers takes the candles. Sí. Oh, okay. I mean, this takes a lot of time to put all these candles up every day. Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, before they didn't have lights, it yeah. might have been lit by all the candles people would bring down. Oh, good point. Yeah. Candles all along the wall. Oh, excellent. Get a film of your food. Wow. That's a heck of a platter. So we have... Uh, Tamale and like a flatas. Oh, I have some mole. B man, I got some mole. Look at that mean steak the B man got. Yeah. You think you're gonna put that whole thing down? Pretty easily, huh? I always put down the steak. Yeah. Oh, here. Let's just try a little mole sauce here. How's Tastes that? like licorice. Tastes like licorice? A little mole. Oh, that's your fork. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it does taste like licorice. Yeah. It's really good. For anybody who likes black licorice, I think you like that. I think Grandpa would like it because he loves black licorice. You know, that does taste like licorice. Taste this, honey. Okay. You got to. You love black licorice. It's a little bit sweeter. Hey Dad, this is the juiciest steak I've ever had. A little bit. Yeah. Yep. It's a juicy steak? Mm -hmm. It's a good looking steak. Yeah, and there was a little piece just hanging on right there. I just cut that off, and this is a very good piece. Just the right amount of fat. Hook me up with a piece of your stick. Wow. That's better than my stick. Yeah. <laughs>
you want some? Yeah, I'd love to taste your soup. It's a really good soup. It's like, it's like, it's like a, t it's like a taco soup. It tastes like taco soup. It's fantastic. I mean, when you can make a taco, make a taco, right? Unless you have a small stomach like me. Because I got beans, I got rice, I got meat, yeah. I got salsa, I mean, I got taco. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. When she comes back, say uno más horchata. Or dos más horchata? Dos más. Yeah. Do you see how I'm cutting this stick? Yeah, we're cutting it with the lines. That's a really good looking steak. Now I have a steak taco. Hmm. Can I have this onion? Got guacamole over here too. You are such a smart lady. <laughs> Ask Aiden if he wants the best. Oh, yeah. 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 You can also make a steak taco. If you want if you want it. Put that ribeye in a taco and put some guacamole, some beans, rice. That would make a pretty mean taco. In fact, if you're not going to eat the rest of your steak, bean man, I'll make the ribeye taco. Oh, we got more chili salsa too. Oh, this is a really good plata. This might be the best taco in Mexico. <laughs> might be. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. Okay, so I had to put this on top. Now I have Bastion's ribeye that the rest of his ribeye he didn't eat. I'm gonna make a taco, a ribeye taco. It's gonna be fantastic. So put big old chunks of steak in there, and I'm going to exceed the limits of this particular tortilla. Here we go. <laughs> okay. That that's probably the best taco in Mexico. Uh, anyway, we're here picking up a hat before we go explore these pyramids because uh, the sun is baking out here and uh, the boys will get fried. But the meal was pretty good. It was, a, it was a darn good meal and it was, a, I mean, you can't beat the atmosphere. One dollar and ten dollars. Right. One yeah. dollar or ten dollars? Yeah, one dollar. You just need a hat for today. I like this hat. Huh? I like this hat. Okay. How much is this one? 150. 150? You can fold it, you can keep it. And how much wash. is this one? 152. Okay, and then you want one? No. You, I have okay. my umbrella. Okay. I, I have for you. Um, for you? I'm good. One for 30 pesos. No, thank you. Huh? I have a, Th a 30 like peso hat? For you. What about a 20 peso hat? For you. What? So, what about 20? Children. 
Children. children. Oh, yes. you don't think I'm good no. for the children? You, are you think I'm too old? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have I, only What's these. up with this? 30 pesos. Now I'm an old man? Yes, you are. <laughs> 30 pesos, what do you think, though? It looks good. Yes. And <laughs> for you, did you win? No, I have an umbrella, thank you. So, no? No. Do you uh, have an umbrella? Yeah, it's fine. Or, or I, this I one? Want Does that fit better? Huh? Does that one fit better? Uh, about the same. About the same, okay. Yeah. Yes. We have some block if you want. No, that's okay, thank no? you. Yes. For you, you don't want it? No. Price. Buy, sure. buy three, get 30 pesos off, I think. The, I saw a sign. <laughs> I saw a sign somewhere. 30 pesos off, okay, no? Take. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You have a good day. De nada. <laughs> <laughs> So did you read about how many possible steps there are here? Huh. Me either. Looks like a good amount though. B-Man, you zoomed up the stairs. B-Man had to carry me, but only like that last half or so. He didn't want to, but somebody started crying, so. You? It's all an extra going over there? Yes. Yeah, that is the uh, Pyramid of the Moon. Hey, you know. yep. This is Pyramid of the Sun. Yep. And then there's the third one, that direction. And what's that called? That is the Temple of Quetzalcoatl, or the Feathered Serpent. Okay, so, and that's, let's go take a look at that. That's like a half pyramid or something, right? Because it's kind of broken down? Uh, I think so, yeah, from what I could see. Hey, Dan. Yeah. No, it's funny. I think I see her um, car right there. Nice. Oh yeah, that's definitely our driver down there. That's the only suburban I see. Hey, Francisco. What? What'd you say? Francisco's all the way down there by the car. He's just getting in the car right now. Yeah, he's just getting in. So, okay, Amy, look, I could see over there. There's hardly any pyramid at all. You can go over there and walk down the Avenue of the Dead. Yeah. Ah, no gases. No gases.
50 pesos. Sí, es el Jaguar. Es hermoso. No gracias. Okay, it's fine, I need to set this camera up. I just noticed is there's no vendors up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a drop off. Yeah. I got to tell you this hat. For a dollar fifty U.S., thirty pesos. Yeah, that one's really sick. Yeah, so you can see it. totally yeah. worth it. Yeah. It is yeah. hot out here. And you would have been burned. Yeah, that too. All right, well, if you see any water. Yeah. They're carrying it around in insulated thingies. Oh yeah. Again. Okay. All right, well that was cool. Good uh, view. Not as cool because you can't go all the way to the top like you can the uh, Pyramid of the Sun. But Pyramid of the Moon was cool. Now we're going to go ahead and cruise all the way down this what Avenue they, of the Dead. Avenue of the Dead says Hefe over here. And uh, we're going to go see what that one's all about down there. I mean, was this, this is just a big courtyard and there's buildings. I mean, these were all buildings on the side, right? For yeah. different purposes? Mo mostly where people lived. Ah, uh, okay. I believe. Whole housing quarters with a big courtyard. Yeah. Probably had big ceremonies out here and mm -hmm. barbecues, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you can't have a courtyard without a barbecue, right? Of course not. Okay. Make sure we're on the same page. Yeah. Did I mention so far that it's really hot out here? And that's coming from a guy who spent summer in Delhi and Dubai. Yeah. So when I say hot, I mean hot. It's mostly that, you know, there's no shade. The sun is right down on you. The air temperature itself isn't hot. It's the fact that the sun is very strong. Yes. And there's 
not nearly enough water vendors. Yeah. Like none, which is odd, because I would, I would spend big money on some water right now. <laughs> It goes all the way through, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It goes all the way through. Nice. All right, B-Man, you going to crawl through or not? It doesn't smell that bad. Oh, it's quite a walk. <laughs>